Hello, fans. I'm Brad Nessler alongside my colleague, Dick Vitale. We're here to call tonight's matchup between the Syracuse Orange and the NC State Wolfpack. Number 33 is a major contributor on this ball club. He does a number of things well for this team. This is a kid you can build your team around, Brad. He can lock you up on defense, then come down to court and score on you on offense. The Wolfpack will see that their offense goes through him tonight, Dick. The Wolfpack might have a little trouble with these guys, Dick. Keys to their success depends on what? Hey, the keys to their success tonight are simple. Number one, the point guard has to take control of the game, and he has to dictate the tempo and the pace. Next, don't let their big man become a factor offensively. Keep him off the block, push him away from the low box, and force him to shoot jump shots. Lastly, don't get lazy, man. Attack the basket, grab the glass, get after the boards. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. Both teams are looking to get something going here. On the dribble, gives it up. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. The Orange go to the line for the first time in this game. Gets the first. Nope. Offensive rebound. Oh, he's got hops like you, man. He got hops like you. <laughs> it is pretty similar. Wow. I didn't realize my partner was a high riser. Side. Gave it up. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. They move it into the front court. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. A uh, terrific job creating the opportunity. I think really converts an offensive transition. Tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. And they get the turnover. The center handles the feed. He shoots from the top of the circle. That's nine unanswered. Now they work it around the perimeter. He went for the steal in the post and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. The Orange have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I'll tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move. And he does it exceptionally well. On the dribble, gives it up. And up and sinks it. Banks is feeling good. Hey, whether you win or lose, you should be afraid to show your emotions. Looking for a good shot. They look to get it to the inside. Tries for two. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Trying to go inside. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Great elevator man, man. That's the elevator guy. What a high riser. Dumps it in. Here's the toss back out for the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Way off target. Again, a little one-man backcourt pressure. Dump it inside. Trying to feed inside. There's a double team waiting there. He shoots from the top of the key. The Wolfpack to find a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Tries to get the D to bite. For two, in and out. On the outside, Gordon receives the ball. Arm and foul. 
Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing. They bring a lot of spirit. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Here they come now on a turnover. He hammers it home. You can almost see that coming. They were a little bit lazy on a defensive end. Mr. Excitement with that jam. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Goes up for two. That's good. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. He's pounding the ball with a duck. Where's he going? Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. Up fake. The shot from the baseline. Buried it. Entry pass in the paint for the bucket. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Nice high post screen. He unloads. He rips the net for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. Both teams looking to get things going here. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A oh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. Three, he gets the bucket. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Look at that student body. They are going mad. You can't forget about them. The witty humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. Taken away. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. A uh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Kicks it out. Gaston handles the pass. He shoots from left to the circle. He gets it to go. Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. The skip pass is picked off. Got a wide open look. Stop and pop. He drains the bucket. Gave it up. Double team now. Bad angle. He cleans the glass. Moving it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Puts it up. Looking for contact. There's the trap. Good job defensively. Here they go into transition. 
Got the bucket and the foul. He made a statement on that play, baby. I ain't backing down. This is crime. Oh, look at him sneering at the crowd. They won't like that one bit. Oh, Mr. Nestler, that's a no-no. Erickson steps to the line for the first time. It goes in. They scored seven in a row. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Leans in. NC State are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Banks fakes the shot. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Tries for two. He puts it in with contact and all. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as you know, points in the paint is a stat that coaches will readily look at, comparing their team's dominance in this category with opposition. Establishing that inside presence is an important facet of consistent success. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. In the paint, jumps into the defender. For two, Dickey's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, right? Very important. They'll work it around the arc. Entry pass in the paint. Trying to draw some contact. On the inside. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. Contact causes the shot to come off. Picked out of the air. Up and inside. Goes up for two. Dickey simply on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. Here's the double team. Perfectly exited. Both teams looking to get things going here. Entry pass in the paint. There's a double team waiting there. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. They push it up on the break. For the bucket. He nails the bucket. The student section is all rallied up and they are ready to battle. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. And he missed. The center receives the pass. That one there should have been a foul call, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact right on the defensive player. for two. Up. Easy one. Wow, that's worth the price of admission. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Great block shot. What an unbelievable play rotating over. Great play to take that to the basket. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Brad and Dick, there is a sense of concern on the bench right now. The coaching staff fears if the other players don't get involved soon, it may be too late. He keeps stressing to his team, I can't do this by myself, so help me out. 
We'll have to continue to monitor this one, guys, along the way. All right, thanks, Aaron. I think right now, got to focus defensively. For two, perfectly executed. Watch this again. folks out of their seats. What a response. What enthusiasm. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. He shoots from the top of the key. Great screen set up, but the shot will go. Looking for a good shot. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up, and they're ready to try to help their team. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Full court pass. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. He lets it go. The Orange have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. off and a shot rejected they run it up into transition for the bucket he keeps the concentration off the contact for the score excellent spacing that's so important to a good offensive set it's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Number 23 gets in on his first minutes tonight. Hey, this kid really knows how to keep the offense moving. Tremendous leader out there. Misses it. Not a very good night at the line, Dick. Absolutely no excuse for that, Brad. No excuse. Second shot is good. the dribble gives it up Dick they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block I tell you what a great job on a defensive player he's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot they work the perimeter from the baseline off the rim and no good with a stop here, there will be sheer pandemonium in the stand. Got the shot if he wants it. He shoots from the top of the circle. Knocks down the three. Only one basket away from the crowd being absolutely thrilled. Now they work it around the perimeter. Double team now, bad angle. Stolen away. Transition opportunity coming up. Tries for two. You bet you. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, and the real extension. He takes the rebound. 
Boy, terrible execution on offense. On the outside, the shooting guard. He got fouled in the bucket. He took it about himself, Brad. Big play, big time score. Nick, that's what I call giving him the business. He's definitely giving him the business. I can do without that twatting, though. With the free throw. He hits it. Trying to draw the foul. Basket falls despite the contact. Gave it up. There's the pick. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Dump it inside. it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. The ball goes out of bounds. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnovers. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit sign. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that. Ten on the shot clock. And he scores despite the hack. On the inside, swatted out of there, block shot. He puts it in with contact and all. There they come with a double team to stop it. Turnover City now always really negate any offense. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Looking for a good shot. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Worked the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He shoots from left of the circle, way off target. He shoots from the top of the key. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. Too physical. Oh, and look at the crowd, and look at the reaction. I think the whole fans are going crazy. That's jubilation. He goes to the free throw line. He buries it. Makes the shot. Wow, the defender got the worst of that hard screen. For two. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. Moving it around the perimeter. Entry pass in the paint. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. And now they'll bring it up. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. They work it around the perimeter. He takes the shot from the baseline. He buries it. Watch the replay, Brad. Oh, 
Look at the student section, Dick, cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. They're rocking right now. My goodness. The ball goes out of play. He shoots from left to the circle. That was nice. At the half, the Wolfpack are behind by seven. Now let's rewind a little bit here and watch the play of the half. NC State seemed to have caught the turnover bug in that first half, Dick. And that was big and a bit of hard. You can't put points on a board if you turn the ball over. They better hope it doesn't come back to haunt them. Dick's guard of the second half. We take a look at our focus player, and he's going to have to be the man to come through. I think he's got to attack the basket a lot more. I think he's got to get opportunities to go to the free throw line, and that'll come if he becomes aggressive. Hard foul. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all have good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. Jumped in front to take it away. Tries the turn and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Perfectly executed. He's got to move the ball. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? On the outside. He shoots from the top of the circle. He drains the long-range bomb. They work it around the perimeter. Steals a pass. Is this hook and has it rejected? Defense did a great job with the block shot. Defense breaks down again. Nobody rotates over from the help side. Picks off the pass. They work the perimeter, picks off the lazy pass. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Got a nice screen. They're dialing threes up like nothing right now. Hey, this is awesome to watch, baby. See who's got more coming out of this timeout as play resumes. On the dribble, gives it up for the bucket. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Another turnover. And we're not talking apple turnovers either. Tries for two. Looking for a good shot. He fires away. There was no doubt about that one. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He uses the shot fake. Has it rejected? Defense did a great job with that block shot. 
Way out on top, controlling the ball for two. Great play to take that to the basket. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. From three-point land. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. He's doing it all right now for this team. It'll be interesting to see if he can keep this up. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from the angle. Off the rim and no good. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip. Going one way, you spin back the other way. Gave it up. He intercepts it. Here's a flash from the high post. He launches a three. He kept the ball on the floor long enough to set up the screen and get the nice look from the inside. In the paint. Thinks about the shot. And he'll kick it back outside. He fires from long range. He drains the bucket. Now they work it around the perimeter. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. Working it around the perimeter. Jumps in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. So forget about it. And then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. There's a slam. Takes away the pass. Nice hops. And one too many dribbles and a steal. A light steal attempt by the defense. You gotta be careful when you go for an aggressive steal like that, Brad. If you miss, you could be in trouble. Now this is home court advantage at its best. The crowd, the students, everyone is feeling good. NC State are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can't force a timeout. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Moving it around the perimeter. He's got an open look for the shot. From right in the circle, gets it to fall. the perimeter blocked Dick, not a bad drop step but it doesn't work for him I tell you just doesn't beat him to the basket not quick enough and a great reaction by the defense and they're gonna count it determination baby Be careful. Taunting is definitely a no-no. That'll definitely rub the opponents the wrong way. Mathis goes to the line for the first time. He can't get one to fall. Looking for contact. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? And 
And the ball goes out of bounds. Nick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. The Orange have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. For the bucket, goes in. The Wolfpack are up by seven. Jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. For two. I love this guy hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. There's the fake. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Great shot. That was a high post screen. Goes to the lane. He makes the shot. Let me hear you say replay, baby. Entry pass in the paint. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. They're working around the perimeter. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Stolen away. Fakes a jumper. Stolen. The student body is rocking tonight. They look like they're having a blast. Goes up for two. Doesn't go. Whenever I think of NC State, I think of their iconic coach of the 1980s. Oh, great man. He was an inspiration to many. Had a great approach to life and how you should live. Truly one of the greatest. Stolen ball. They're off into transition for the bucket. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. The Orange are down by 12. Fakes the shot. The student body appears to be puffed up, and they are ready to explode. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. Takes the pass in the paint. Tries for two. That's a 7-0 run. the outside he fires it up he shows the sweet touch and a momentary look from three-point land drains it the orange are behind by 15 On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from right of the circle. Nails it from downtown. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. They're working around the arc. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. For two, can't get the shot to go. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. 
Brad and Dick, the coaching staff told me before the game, this is the one guy they need to get going quickly and early. They said when he gets hot, his entire team will follow suit, and they'll feel good about having the game in hand. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. He throws it up from downtown. These boys are slinging threes left and right, left, right, down the center, every play. Hey, they're going in from everywhere, baby. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. With a jump hook. Ate didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive play. He's winning the battle. Block shot usually creates momentum and opportunity. And the ball goes out of play. Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. I'd celebrate too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Gave it up. Intercepted. There's the screen up on top. The ball goes out of bounds. the dribble gives it up looking for the foul basket falls despite the contact the ball goes out of play my goodness Brad what a play that was a great play Dick I agree with you he shouldn't let his emotions get the best of him though he better watch out the Wolf Packs are looking rattled. They really got to get themselves together right now. That could be damaging to their overall performance. They've lost their composure, and that's a no-no. Strips the ball. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Gets it to go. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. Robs him of the ball. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. You're right. The student sections, the bands, and the crowd are always urging their team to victory like a sixth man. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Worked the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. But inside. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. In the post. Controlling the ball. Takes it off him. They're working around the perimeter. 
The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the D... That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Knocks down the two. Picked out of the air. Stop and pop. Sinks the shot. Puts it on the floor and up and under. They still don't score. Stolen ball. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I did a great job creating a good angle too when he goes up and under. He seals off the defensive player. Flasher. He shoots from the elbow. He hits a bullseye again. And he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Puts it up, looking for contact. It sticks. <laughs> Moving it around the perimeter. For the bucket, and he missed. This kid's been nothing short of magnificent on defense. He's creating absolute havoc out there. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Ten on the shot clock. out of bounds. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. Three seconds on the clock. He drains the shot. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. Oh, yes, the student body, always full of comedy and excitement. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Our focus player update, our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. I tell you one thing, he really responded to the challenge, and that led them to the winner's circle. NC State wins in an absolutely humiliating blowout. This is a surprise since the two teams were so evenly matched. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.